I've got one more problem for us to look at. Using, we're gonna again use our T-chart and our mountains and hills to solve an elapsed time problem. Maggie went to bed at 8 p.m. Before bed, she read for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, did chores for 20 minutes, and played with her dog for 15 minutes. Before all that, she ate dinner for one hour with her family. What time did dinner start? Okay, this one is different. We have the end time and we have the elapsed time, but we do not have the beginning. We don't have the beginning time. So let's make our T-chart. Maggie went to bed at 8 p.m. Before bed, she read for 30 minutes, did chores for 20 minutes, and played with her dog for 15 minutes. Before all that, she ate dinner for one hour with her family. What time did dinner start? So in my T-chart, I'm going to write time passed over here. And my, oh, I can't write my start time. I'm going to write my end time. She went to bed at 8 p.m. Now, to, since we're going back in time, we're going to be subtracting instead of adding. So let's take away our 30 minutes. So we are subtracting 30 minutes, which will bring us to 7.30. Now we're going to do chores for 20 minutes, play with her dog for 15 minutes, and before all that, she ate dinner for one hour. We don't have to use the same order. We can subtract in any order we want to. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that hour now because that would be easier than subtracting the 20 minutes and the 15 minutes. So we've, we've got our 30 minutes out of the way. We've got our one hour out of the way. Now we have 15 minutes and 20 minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and take that 15 minutes out, subtracting 15 to get me to six 15. And now all I need to do is take away that 20 minutes. I'm going to break that up into a chunk of 15 minutes and a chunk of 5 minutes. Subtract 15 gets us to 6 o'clock. And then subtract 5 minutes to give us our 20 minute chunk. And that gets us to 5.55. So she must have, dinner must have started at 5.55 p.m. Now we can write that into our full sentence. Dinner started at 5.55 p.m. The leaf blower is very loud. Okay, now we're going to do this using the mountains and hills method. Let's draw our number line. And we are know we are ending at 8 p.m. We're ending at 8 p.m. So we are going to be going backwards this time. I like to draw myself a little arrow to remind me that I'm going backward in time. So from 8 p.m., let's do a hill of 30 minutes to get us to 7.30. Then we will do, let's take away that hour. Remember we use a mountain for an hour. That gets us to 6.30. And I like to write one hour in our mountains, even though we know each time we use a point like that, it's gonna be an hour. Then we do another hill for our 15 minutes. And that will get us to 6.15. And then we're going to break that 20 minutes up into a 15-minute hill, which will get us to 6 o'clock. And a 5-minute hill, which will get us to 5.55. And then we write our answer. That's our, that's our beginning time. We write that in a full sentence. Dinner 
started at 5.55 p.m.